Hi there guys, yes I'm back in the shop, <laughs> only briefly actually. Um, I'm getting around better since the hip job, it's six, six, uh, six and a bit weeks. I've almost got rid of my walking cane, still walking with a very good limp but uh, it's progress. Still limits uh, standing and walking a little bit. But uh, one little job I wanted to get done out here, a uh, whole bunch of small brass uh, gas jets and uh, they need enlarged from uh, 1.4mm to 1.5mm so I've got a setup which you'll see. One thing I didn't mention incidentally, when I've drilled these they all get a blast of uh, compressed air which I didn't show. Having got a load of them done, I just went through and uh, um, gave them a blast. The burr on the side, the outer side, is virtually nothing. So it's just a case of making sure there are no chips inside. Um, larger projects, still waiting a bit. I've got uh, two in particular I want to start messing with and they may still wait a little while but uh, anyway it's good to get out here get something useful done a bit of repetition which I hate but there we are and <laughs> needs must so anyway I won't waffle anymore I don't think there's anything else I forgot oh I did mean to mention thoughts to all you guys in Florida uh, hell of a bloody mess so we've not only had Harvey now we've had Hurricane Irma. What a mess. Devastation. Anyway, thoughts go out to all folks down there. Anyway, that's it. Uh, I'll leave you to watch. Very short, very incidental, but just uh, something a little bit more machining wise than, than my recent efforts. So I'll say uh, bye for now. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you soon. Okay, here's the deal. Uh, we've got a load of gas jets to uh, drill out. These are pretty small. See, they're pretty tiny. And the original uh, jet hole is 1.4. And we've got to change that to 1.5. So, I've got dozens of them to do. So, we've got, I've got a parallel on the flats to support a tiny V block, which is actually one that uh, my friend Terry made. Very, very handy. Then, my largest pin vise which will just hold a jet and this here I did describe this long ago and I for the life of me forget what it's called I did find it online somewhere I've had it for years it's quite expensive but it's so useful because you can operate it whilst the spindle's turning you can operate it by hand and uh, control the feed very carefully. So I've got that in a collet, in fact it seems a little bit a little bit stiff, the collet may be taken up a bit too tight. Anyway, to set up, because this is so small, I've actually set X and Y with the 1.4 and that, to be honest, should be close enough. So we're going to put the 1.5 in and then see how we get on. There's a slightly closer look at the uh, fine drilling device. And then there's a closer look at the uh, setup with uh, parallel V block pin vise. This pin vise is only just able to manage. I have to loosen it off 
quite a lot but otherwise it works oh he's <laughs> Yeah, I have to uh, loosen this pin vise quite a lot because the collet will only just accept the jet. I mean, that's all there is to it. Nothing much. But, uh, yeah, so I have to undo this quite a long way. So we just keep going, one after another. I don't think there's an easier way to do this. I could possibly, so I'm getting my hands in the way all the time here, oh, I can't get the sucker out now. <laughs> yeah, fiddle fiddle, but uh, it works. I guess if I had two identical uh, small V-blocks, I could do that, but this seems to be the easiest way at the moment. Just keep going at it, get the job done.